this raised planter box has given me the opportunity to try out a few different types of LED lights that I've been playing with. And that's what we're going to go over here. At the moment we're experimenting with three types of LED light in this planter box. The first is the red blue hood that was sourced from China. Next we have the Type S off-road vehicle light which is controlled by Bluetooth and was purchased at Costco. And then the next is a Costco shop light which is a Cobb LED 2400 lumens 6500 Kelvin and there are two of those Type S lights that are installed here and here's what they look like in the box when purchased from Costco. These Type S off-road vehicle lights are powered by 12 volts. I have ordered a 30 amp power supply to power them but in the meantime I'm running them from this battery which is attached to a digital charger and this is how I'm getting by in the short term to power them and get my 12 volt power supply. First let's go over the advantages to the Type S. It's controlled by Bluetooth and it has variable color options. You can pick blue, red, you can have purple and the effective lumen rating I believe is around 4800 which is double what this Costco shop light is. It's at 2400. The Type S light costs about 150 Canadian. The Costco shop light costs 50 Canadian. Now you can also see even though it's daylight how much brighter the Type S light is in terms of its focus on the soil beneath it. Both these lights are actually on now and you might be able to see the effect of the shop light if I turn it on and off. It's very little. The disadvantages to the Type S are enough that I will be returning them. Uh, you'll see it's a very focused beam that distance is about two feet from the surface and it doesn't have nearly as many lumens if you do pick the red and blue LEDs. You can control to have only the red blue or you can have the full spectrum white which it looks to be about 6500 Kelvin as well or you can have them both and that's what uh, I've done, I've done all the various combinations and here's what it looks like when the other Type S is off. Now one of the disadvantages to the Bluetooth is, is you can't put it on a timer and yesterday here's you see those two buttons on the profile indicate that it knows, knows that there's two light bars in the greenhouse. However, all day yesterday I could not get it to connect, which is a common problem. Even though I was standing right beside the greenhouse, it wouldn't connect. Just now when I set it up right beside them within six inches, suddenly they both appeared again. So it's very random as to when you can actually control them from the Bluetooth and when you cannot. As well, they will go on and off at random intervals that don't seem to have any correlation to the Bluetooth connection. So that also gets a bit frustrating and makes it very hard to deal with them. Now if you look at these radishes right here and then beside them the Caribbean and spinach, the Callaloo, you'll see that it looks to be that right where the Type S LED was focused in the center of the row there's quite a bit more leaf development. If we move over here to the Alaska peas, you can see that because of the hood being too close, there has been some leaf damage. 
and that has come from this hood here which will now be removed. Similarly underneath the Costco shop light you can see that the spinach which was started from seed tape also seems to be showing greater leaf mass development where it's directly under and getting the most amount of that light. Again the chart where it was right underneath the focus part of the type S light shows the same advanced leaf growth as opposed to the outer edges of the row. So given that these type S lights are inconsistent in their behavior and they cannot be controlled by a timer you need to get an additional 12 volt power supply to power them and the price you could buy six of these shop lights which are 2400 lumens for the same price of two of these and as you can see then three of the shop lights which could be put on a timer will probably cover a more diffuse area than the focus of the type s lights so the advantage to the type s is you can pick the blue and red if you feel that that works better for you and again that's also controversial as to whether it has any greater benefit than using a full spectrum white light I'm going to move over to more of these shop lights after I return these type s and of course I'll be removing this hood and using it for different spots due to uh, the peas probably don't need it those are Alaska peas by the way and as you can hear, it's starting to rain on the hoop house. So it's probably time to close it up and head back in.